I'm with Al, Airlift's engineering project manager. Today we'll be working on a Chevy Silverado 1500. We're installing Airlift's ride control to eliminate squat, trailer sway, rough ride, and bottoming out, allowing us to tow and haul with safety and comfort. This video doesn't replace your installation manual, so grab yours out of the box or get a digital copy at airliftcompany.com and let's get started. With your vehicle up on jack stands and the tires removed, pry the ABS sensor harness clamp out from the bottom of the frame and remove the stock harness clip. While we're doing this, notice the harness is on the inside of the frame. If yours is on the outside, you'll need to disconnect the harness from the connector on top of the frame, move the harness to the inside, and reconnect it. Now that we've removed the stock clip, we can attach the new clip from our ride control kit. Next, insert a bolt and a medium OD washer into the frame so that the bolt extends through the bottom frame hole. Then attach the upper bracket to the frame behind the axle, making sure the bolt goes through the hole on the bottom of the bracket. Attach the brake line clip, a flat washer, and a nylock nut to the bottom of the bolt. Tighten it up with a socket wrench, making sure to keep the ABS line parallel to the frame so the line won't rub on the air spring. Insert the long carriage bolt through the center of the upper bracket. On the other side, insert a spacer and a large OD washer over the bolt. Using your socket wrench again, tighten this with a nylock nut. Make sure the line and the nut are both secure. Now let's assemble our air spring. Twist the swivel air fitting onto the air sleeve, getting it finger tight. Then do one and a half turns with a wrench, but make sure not to over tighten it. Attach the lower bracket to the bottom of the air sleeve with a flat washer and a half inch bolt, but at this time, leave it loose. Set the lower bracket's lip to hook over the leaf spring U-bolt and put the swivel air fitting through the upper bracket. Secure the air sleeve to the top bracket using a 3 quarter inch nylock nut. Tighten the nut, but make sure you don't torque it over 4 foot-pounds. Place the supplied U-bolt over the lower bracket and leaf springs. Slide the clamp bar over the U-bolt and cap it with flat washers and nylock nuts. Go ahead and torque these to 16 foot-pounds. When cutting air lines, never cut from the side. You leave a jagged edge and ruin the hose. Instead, use a sharp razor blade to get a crisp, clean cut. A hose cutter will also do the trick. You can decide where to mount your inflation valves, which will also determine the route your airline will travel along the frame of the car. We'll use the bumper here, but other options for inflation valve placement include the license plate recess and the wheel well flanges. Cut the airline assembly into two equal lengths and to install the Schrader valve, slide on the airline clamp and then attach the valve. Clamp the airline onto the valve, drill a hole for the inflation valve, place a nut and star washer on the air valve, push the inflation valve through the hole and use a rubber washer, flat washer and another nut to secure it in place. Tighten the nuts to secure the assembly and push on the valve cap. Based on your valve location decision, route the airline along the frame, avoiding heat sources and sharp bends, and allowing the appropriate amount of slack. Cut your airline according to manual specifications and insert it into the push-to-connect fitting. Repeat on the other side and inflate both sleeves to 10 PSI. Then adjust the sleeve in the lower bracket slot so that it's perpendicular to the mounting brackets. Tighten the half-inch bottom bolt securely. To make sure your airlift kit is airtight, inflate the system to 35 PSI and spray a soap solution on all connections and valves while checking for exiting air bubbles. That just about does it. Thanks for joining us in the airlift workshop. Remember, you can find more information about your kit and all of our products at airliftcompany.com.